Hey you guys, Dangerous Thing here. Welcome back to another episode of Boom Beach and welcome to a first episode of live Boom Beach gameplay post Mega Crab. So basically what I did during Mega Crab is constant I, I concentrated all of my free time outside of work on getting through Mega Crab. And what I did is basically I haven't attacked the War Factory. I haven't attacked, I barely attacked Dr. T, probably like first one or two stages because I was so concentrated on just getting through Mega Crab. And I certainly did not raid any NPC or real-time player bases. So today I'm jumping right back in because my victory point count looks like rubbish and I want to get it back up. So let's jump in and let's raid some real-time players, NPC players, and basically whatever needs to be done. So A, I can get my VPs up and B, I can get some loot. Let's jump in. So like I said, I've lost a bunch of VPs while concentrating all of my attention on the Mega Crab. And of course, you know, as always, I'm thinking ahead and I'm looking forward to upgrading a few of my troops. Now, this is what it's gonna cost me to start my next upgrade on Grenadiers. Uh, I am 3.133 million short on gold and let me not even talk about tanks. I am 4.233 million short on gold. So basically today, two things need to happen. I need to get more VPs and of course, I needs to get as much gold as possible throughout raiding NPC in real time player bases. So I'm gonna go ahead and boost my uh, power, we'll use one of my power powders and boost my gunboat energy just because um, of course, you know, I have three hours that I'm gonna be intensively raiding and I've been looking at some of these bases and look at this guy, level 50 player and only 61k in gold. That's not even worth my time. So I'm gonna go ahead and just look for, you know, things that have more gold. I like literally could get more gold from raiding an NPC base. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump over here and try to raid this base uh, of course you know quite a challenge he's got uh, he's got a pretty good layout here I'm not gonna lie I may like take a note later and try and <laughs> use some of his layout tips on my own base because I've gotten raided uh, a few times in the last couple of weeks um, okay so first and foremost of course I'm gonna take out the um, rocket launchers and then start working on shock launchers if I have any GBE left. Now that was actually quite fortunate. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I'm not feeling very great today you guys. I think I'm getting sick so <coughs> you might hear me cough and sneeze a little bit throughout this video. Apologies in advance. It's really cold out here and it's snowing like crazy. So I feel like I'm definitely getting sick just a wee bit. Okay, so I'm still gonna try to take out that one um, remaining. No, actually I'm not gonna do that. That was a total lie because I barely have any GBE left. So what I'm gonna do is this right here. I'm gonna deploy my troops and go from the left side on. I'm gonna drop my critters so that they take out a few of the, um, of the mines on the way. Uh, on the troops way to um, to the shock launcher and then I'm gonna just you know okay I need to heal up my Zook as ASAP over here because they're not looking very hot um, and of course over here as well and now I just need to have them move in tandem um, and of course I need to make sure that I'm not wasting my GBE on things that don't even matter at the moment uh, like a few of the um, production buildings that my troops are gonna try to hit up. Uh, I mean, they're great, right? But And they're giving me GBE, but I'm also gonna spend a whole lot of Zookas. And that means that I'm gonna have to go home, retrain, stop recording this video, or spend diamonds, and yada, yada, yada. So, all right, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, use the shock over here. And um, I think I got this, I got this, I got this, I got this. It's just a matter of how many Zookas and Heavies I've lost throughout getting this gold. So let's see what the reward is with my bonus because I have a statue bonus. So 554K in reward in gold. That's really solid, I'm not gonna lie. Like I'm pretty happy even though I lost 20 troops. So I'm gonna go ahead and start retraining and while I'm retraining, I'll jump into uh, an NPC base because I feel like I can take one out without having to wait out on the troop completion, troop training completion. And so I just got a little over half a million. I am about 3.1 million short from the next upgrade. So basically I'll be here for a while rating you guys. So let's jump right in and let's bring down the Croatian sensation. 
I don't know why lately when I record, especially when I do Clash Royale videos, but I do a lot of like French accent um, in my videos. I have no idea, I have no explanation whatsoever as to what possesses me to do that. I don't speak French at all and somehow I'm just really into, you know, faking French accent. That's really bizarre, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> if any of you guys speak French natively and you think my accent is rubbish, let me know in the comments below. Okay, so I'm gonna drop off my troops over here. Usually when I do Croatian Sensation, I drop off my troops on the right flank and like flare them away. Uh, but I have so much GBE and I really don't know that, you know, I need to worry too much. So I'm just gonna drop my troops right over here and have them go through the base, um, you know, in, in the order uh, that they uh, see fit or basically, you know, mow everything down in front of them. I have, I had over 115 GBE at one point, I think, or at least 110 at one point. So I feel like I'm in a pretty good place here. So I'm gonna drop a few of my critters. I'm gonna drop a med kit over here. I will probably end up um, dropping another one over here for my heavies. And while the heavies are, are distracting the cannon, the Zookas are taking down the HQ. And just like that, the HQ goes down, down, down. And let's see how many troops we've lost because I'm sure we actually have lost a few. Um, all right, we lost four and that's not oh so bad. Let's keep going through it. Uh, I don't have so many troops right now, so I need to be really, really careful as to what I pick next so I don't end up annihilating all of my guys and walking out empty-handed. But look at this, this base has more gold than the base of a level 50 player, which I mean is really, it's really smart, right? Like you start an upgrade before you hop offline, so even if you get raided, you don't lose too much. But there's just not enough in it for me. Okay, so this is an interesting one. I could go either way. I could start from the right flank and take out all of these productions buildings and get GBE, or I could just uh, clear out the base from this side right here. So I think I'm gonna do just that. I'm gonna go ahead and barrage the entrance of the left flank and take out the flamethrower and the um, machine gun over here. They have a lot of health because, as you can see, like these buildings are just beastly, completely, completely beastly. Okay, I'm gonna throw one more barrage over here. And then from there on, I will just deploy my troops and continue using the energy to uh, shock the defenses. Okay, so all the heavies go in first. And I'm gonna drop the critters in front of them, flare them over here, and then I'm gonna shock this, shock that, and shock this. I'm gonna throw a healing kit, med kit over here, and we should be good to go from here. Uh, definitely shouldn't be difficult to finish this off. Unless, of course, my Zookas will start getting hit up too much by the um, by the mortars on the left on the right hand side, which I think we got it. I definitely am losing troops like crazy, but we got it. So three attacks back to back with zero reinforcement, basically just you know going in with whatever we had left over from the previous attack. And let's see what we ended up getting in return and how many troops we've lost. So I got 97k in gold and lost four Zookas and four heavies. I feel like it's been pretty great because in last two it's an equal amount of both. Um, now let's check out um, how short I am for the next upgrade. Uh, let's see, so I am now 2.5 million short, uh, which of course calls for quite a few more attacks and uh, I'm gonna hop off for a second, wait until my troops are reinforced and I will get right back in at you guys. Ooh, I totally didn't check my, uh, my operation reward, 1.83 mil. So really I'm just 1 point, so I'm only about, 700 or 800,000 shorts. So that's totally doable. I should be able to get it done in one video and then start an upgrade. So I'll catch you guys soon. Don't go anywhere.
Guys, so my troops are almost retrained and I actually, while I was waiting on troops to retrain, find a, found a few bases that I'm going to attack next. And I know this is a little bit of cheating because, you know, his rocket launcher is upgrading, but hey, not my problem. I got upgraded plenty while my defense buildings were getting upgraded. But here is, look at this guy. Right behind his statues, he placed a ton of boom mines, which is really quite clever of him. But I've seen that trick before, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna throw my critters uh -oh, right in front of my troops as I descend so let's jump in and let's get this party going actually another thing that I wanted to do was to boost my uh, resource reward because I really want to start an upgrade today so I'm gonna go ahead and boost it I should have done it in the beginning but I didn't think about it which is too sad but irreversible because it's already done so let's just keep on rocking and rolling and look at that sweet sweet reward that I'm going to get okay so Let's go ahead and start with the rocket launchers, of course, on each side, and then we're gonna continue on from there after those are taken care of. And as I said, I will drop in my uh, lovely critters um, to take out the boom mines right behind all of the statues as you approach the shore base. So let's see how much GBE we're gonna have after this one. Um, all right, didn't take out the RL right here. Let's go ahead and drop critters here and critters there and then have my troops go in in front of them. Obviously, they actually, you know, took out the, uh, they took out the mines, but they are going for the uh, rocket launcher, which is being upgraded and isn't really necessary to be taking out. But hey, that's okay. Um, I had plenty of, uh, of troops around it and it only took like three seconds, three blasts of Zookas. Now I'm going to start working on the shock, lo uh, shock launcher over here. And of course there is a shock blaster behind it that I need to take care of as well. So let's hope that I will be able to take the shock blaster out in time before my troops actually get there. Uh, because that is a quite a nasty, quite a nasty little invention there. So. Let's go ahead and uh, shock it for now and then I'm gonna use another one of my artillery shots and hopefully that's gonna be enough and that isn't and one more and let's see if that's gonna be enough. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I need, I need another rocket. Okay, I need another artillery shot ASAP to take out this monstrosity. Oh my God, how much health is in it? You guys, I think I may actually not be able to, whew, Okay, that shock blaster had so much health in it. Look at that, it took out nearly all of my heavies. And by nearly all, I mean, I'm pretty sure it took out all of my heavies and 13 Zookas. So I'm gonna go ahead and swap my troops for, um, for Zookas and Grenadiers because they both have medium to long range and I'll jump right back in. All right, guys, so I retrained my troops and I actually turned off my face cam because I'm sneezing and my nose is so red. I look like a Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. Okay, so I'm just going to jump right in into another attack. And as you can see, I got myself some Zookas and Grenadiers. And I've picked a base just a few seconds ago and I think I'm going to do um, SKT Faker. I don't quite know what it stands for, but I don't want to ask, to be honest with you. So I'm just going to jump in and start on this attack. The combo of um, Zookas and Grenadiers is something I haven't really experimented with very much. Um, I was kind of sold on it because of the great range, and I'm hoping that it's going to help me out in the gameplay, you know, because they can both outrange a lot of defenses. Um, I do have to be careful, of course, as always, with... Um, with rocket launchers, with shock launchers, and more than anything, shock blasters. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to work this one area over here uh, with the shock blaster, shock launcher, and of course, one of the boom cannons. Uh, boom cannons are just really, really tough. Um, they, you know, outrange my grenadiers, and um, that was a little bit of a waste. It didn't really do much in terms of a boom cannon for me, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take that one off and drop my troops over here. I'm gonna drop critters in front of them so they take out the uh, mines and a boom mine in front of my troops and then I will watch my Zookas and my Grenadiers to, um, you know, watch them advance towards the HQ and hopefully that's going to be a good one. Um, Alright, I'm gonna heal these girls up over here because of course 
there is a lot of uh, activity going on there. I'm gonna shock the shock blaster and drop the uh, critters over here. Hopefully they're gonna go ahead and work on the uh, shock blaster and I need another shock over here. Um, I need to concentrate on taking that guy out ASAP and just like that um, the shock blaster is now out. I'm gonna go ahead and cover up my troops over here because of course they are within the range of the shock launcher now and I totally did not pay attention to that um, to that additional shock launcher that my opponent had and that's really quite unfortunate i'm going to go ahead and shock this cluster over here and hopefully my zookas can um, concentrate on the hq in this time frame and take it out and if not you guys then it's going to be very very unfortunate <laughs> because the grenadiers are going to be out ranged with the boom cannons and of course with the um shock with the rocket launcher remaining so all of my zookas at this point um, other than two zookas are out and at this point i'm just hoping that i can wait it out and that everybody is now outside of the range of boom cannons and the shock launcher and the rocket launcher on the left and i will be able to bring home the victory what do you think i think i got it just a few seconds come on a few more throws few more hits from zookas and this will go down so um the intent was to walk out with minimum casualties because I was hoping that, you know, uh, Zookas and Grenadiers having pretty good range is going to work out well for me. Didn't go down as planned, but nonetheless, I got 250k, almost 251k in gold. And of course, it's going to cost me a pretty penny to retrain my troops. Now I have 4.726 mils in gold and that is plenty to start one of my upgrades. I can now do my, um, my warriors or of course I can spend a few diamonds and do grandeurs. So I think I'm actually going to go ahead and concentrate on warriors because you all know I kind of suck with warrior rushes, but I really have been working on it lately. So I'm going to upgrade my warriors to level 14 and do more warrior rush attacks. And of course, I'm going to retrain and start another upgrade of one of my defense buildings. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for tuning in for this episode of post mega crab events. And I will see you guys next time. Until then, dangerous thing is out.